Hello everybody. I'd like to introduce you to the house that I used to, uh, that I grew up in in Columbus, Ohio. This house is, was built back in 1960 and we probably paid, my dad probably paid uh, 60000 for it. Well, the story about this house is that there was a painter. He painted this house and he painted, my grandparents live right next door. And after he got through painting the house, he knocked on the front door, as you see there, and my mom answered the door, and he, he said, Ma'am, uh, I'd like to show you my painting. So he did, he showed her, and, she, and he said, Would you like to buy it? She said, Sure, sure, I love it. Oh, it's wonderful. So she bought it, and she bought the my grandparents too, the one, uh, or they bought it, my grandparents bought it too. My brother has that one at his house. And this hangs up on my wall in my kitchen area. And the memories from this house, there's so many, but one memory I'll tell, or a couple, several memories I'll tell you. You see the woods in the back? We, ha we uh, had a lot of property and we called it Deckard Woods. Well, I would go down in the woods and just, and just, it was my safe haven. I called it my safe haven. I'd go down walking through the path and I'd see some purple, beautiful purple violets and just be down there and just enjoy myself. And, and I love nature. Listen to nature and explore. I was the explorer in the family. There were five, uh, I had three, three brothers and another sister. So there's five, to that makes five, there's five total. And, but I was, I was always exploring, being outside doing something. I loved to be outside. And my sister, Melanie Sue, you can't see it, but the, uh, be there were three bedrooms upstairs and she stayed upstairs in a room a lot and she got creative and she would study and learn things and so she liked to be off by herself a lot and my, bro and my other brothers lived upstairs too and there was an office, we had an office upstairs too and I lived um, downstairs in the uh, left part you see there's uh, two windows on the left there I, I, I stayed downstairs and mom and dad's room were in the back of the, of the left side of the house there. And also uh, one time my dad had a Harley Davidson motorcycle and he would uh, take people rides down in the woods. Well my brother Dan, he was about six at the time, he wanted to go for a ride on the motorcycle and it was night time and my brother Dan says, oh, I want to go in the house. I need to go in the house, Dad, and get my shoes. I want to come. I want to ride. So my dad didn't hear him. And my dad then took someone else for a ride in the woods. Well, Dan thought, my brother Dan thought, well, I'm going to go down and try to find him down in the woods. So he did. He tried to, but Dan got lost, and he ended up at the, at the Burger Boy uh, restaurant. And he went in there and told him, he said, yes, I'm, I'm lost. I don't know how to get back home. Well, in the meantime, my mom was looking for my brother Dan. She had the whole neighborhood, and all the nice neighbors, uh, helping her look for my brother Dan. She was frantic. So they, uh, the, the police officers uh, brought my brother Dan home and pulled up in the driveway and Dan was in the back seat he was playing with the flashlight and we were all so relieved so relieved so excited so happy that he was okay and another time my mom the garage door was on the right side of the house there it was open and my brother Dan had his bike in there and mom heard him she heard someone out rustling around in the garage and then she saw him. She said, oh my. 
they st they they uh, stole my brother Dan's bike, and my mom ran and ran and ran for a long ways. But she got Dan's bike back. She was yelling and screaming, and you know said, "Stop! Stop! Stop!" So um, that was a good good ending in that story too. And also, you see that yard there. I I'm I was the one that liked to cut the grass. We used a, I used a tractor. It was called International Harvester. And I enjoyed, uh, like I said, I enjoyed being outside and I cut the grass. It was a big tractor. Like I said, it was an International Harvester. And then we had Jewish Center. Uh, we let them use our woods for their camp, for uh, camp in the summertime. And there were campfires that you know, we had we had campfires too. Went in the woods and built campfires. And then I had a mini bike, and I went in the woods with the mini bike, and I tried to hill climb. I was a tomboy, of course. But uh, just so many wonderful memories with that house, and that's just a few of them that I remember. And that's I lived lived in Columbus, Ohio. And I'm sure you have memories too, childhood memories and a, some, a nice house too that you used to live in. I'd like to uh, like you to share it with me.